Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we are diving together into color cap of Go Battle League and of course we're gonna have a lot of action with a shift three up in throne at the back the Kindra and in between as our closer I'm gonna keep my Shadow Sharpedo. The backline that I'm using is gonna rely a lot on its fast attacks while up in front shift three can go pretty rough at the enemies with a spammy moveset that it might carry. Of course you can always use something like a hurricane but I believe that the standard moveset is always gonna work much better. About Bullet Seed or Snarl, just don't go with Bullet Seed, I believe that Snarl most of the times is gonna connect for neutral damage and might work towards your favor on the end of the battle. Uh, so right here against the Toxapex, I'm just gonna go in with my King Trap because I know that I can pressure for that second shield and perhaps we can put this Pokemon at a point that it can be absolutely farmable with my Shadow Sarpedo. Most of the times I will keep that second shield for my end game and my Shadow Sarpedo and not two shields because sometimes, well, the second shield will not even be that much of an issue for Sarpedo to faint. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna work with that a lot. Uh, they end up having a Marwak at the back, so a simple crunch can simply do the work here and we're just gonna take this amazing victory to start of the video. Dogs Apex in the next one, up on the lead, we have to get out of there and we got the Kingdra's our safe switch. So this is what I like about Kingdra with steals and charmers out of the way, well Kingdra has a very nice safe field for it to go ahead, safe switch itself and of course we can always nuke that unsuspect opponent with the outrage. Look at how easy it was for the Trevenant to feint and now we have the Toxapex returning into the battle. The opponent here might uh, think that now we are gonna avoid the matchup with Siftry, but guess what? We want that, that Siftry to go in because we can always sacrifice one shield while we can still pressure for those leaf plates. Uh, one is definitely gonna take the shield and one more before they try to finish us off. So this is gonna connect for big damage and we're gonna put the Toxapex so low that right now we might be able to completely farm down with Sarpedo without spending any shield. At the back there is gonna be a Siftry of their own, but guess what? This time it is gonna be a Shadow Siftry and they take much more damage than usual. So I will try to go here for that Poison Fang in order to debuff this Pokemon because I know we cannot outspeed with that farm down they can definitely reach to the leaf blade first we can always go with a farm down of our own we have now the energy needed for the final leaf blade and that is gonna connect for amazing damage on the toxapex and that's gonna secure our victory Galvantula is always tricky with those lunges so we have to take care of the damage outputs and not only of the debuff so at this point I'm just gonna put up the shield on the lunge and then unleash my leaf blade here before uh, they get to the second lunge because we can still put at the point that uh, the second uh, leaf blade is definitely gonna threat it and I want to keep my Citri for the end game so Kingdra is gonna go in now trying to take uh, one move on its face doesn't matter at all we can still farm down and let's see now how how they are gonna respond because Pelipper is coming in and even with a debuffed Kingdra the Outrage is gonna hit like a truck. We can definitely survive the Weather Ball here uh, because of uh, it being uh, double resisted by my typings and of course we can land the Outrage for big damage if we didn't have the debuff we could still uh, one shot it down here and at the back there is gonna be the Lava Snail but to be honest my Pokemon is just gonna do tremendous amount of work with its fast attack. Look at that able to completely farm down with one shield and the freaking dream into the next one now with the ice type up in front Wolverine is a pretty tricky lead once again and not the best that we could have however leaf blade is gonna connect for big damage and right now I have a feeling that this is gonna be just an icicle spear so I'm just gonna let that go through down they go and Galvantula is gonna come into the battle you know what Octazuka here can definitely be the key to our victory and perhaps I can sacrifice a shield but I do not want to since they are super low. I totally lost count of those Volt Switches I believe because I'm coming in with my Sarpedo and that might have been a mistake, however it all depends on the final Pokemon, what do they have back there? Uh, so he ends up being a Shadow Zapdos, what are you doing trainer, are you using my own spells up against me, how dare you, we're just gonna farm down with those bites, now we're gonna wait for the Warren, but it is never gonna return to the battle and we're gonna take this victory. 
fighting types are nowhere to be seen but this trainer has a blazing and up in front, a ferrothron at the back and that is already a checkmate so I'm just gonna leave this battle into the next turn now and we're having uh, the Barbaracle up on the lead, well that was pretty fun for me when I first saw it, I was thinking that okay that is gonna be an easy win but then it hit me, those Fury Cutters are dealing super effective damage twice, double super effective damage being bug type and of course now we can always answer back with the Leaf Blades but if they want to they can easily finish me off on the two shield scenario so here comes the cross top, not gonna block it and I'm just gonna go in with my King drum what i want to do though is to rely on the fact that this is gonna be just another cross chop however it ends up being a stone edge for big damage on my king dry now octazuka is just gonna take out the barbaracle it's all up to my sadu sarpido we can simply farm down completely that poor uh marowak without even using a shield and now we have the poison fang for big damage on the abomas no no move from it either and that's gonna be a pretty fast uh victory victory pretty safe one with my Sadu Sarpedo as our closer we're gonna have now shift in the next one up on the lead and of course we have to stay in with the Kingdra and we have to go ahead and do a lot of work up against them able to get now to the outrage because I have a feeling that Octazuka is not gonna finish them off if they decide to not shield but it seems like they want to go ahead and finish me off with that leaf blade doesn't matter at all, my own shift tree now can go in and start farming down that crucial energy that uh, they have. I believe that we can also take those moves, no hurricane from them, obviously, okay, that was pretty hopeful for me. My cargo comes into the battle and now we have to go ahead and spam those leaf blades. One more to thread that second shield and then I will try to switch out to my uh, Sarpedo because right now I want to see what they have as their third Pokemon because those bites are definitely gonna chunk a nice amount of damage out of this trainer. They end up having a Sado Zabdos which is crazy but my Sado Sarpedo here can still hold on, able to reach to the Poison Fang, always feels nice to destroy down the enemy Sado Zabdos because I am the only master and down they go with that Macargo as well. Trevor end up on the lead, pretty solid lead for this line and now we're just gonna uh, switch out after we throw those Leaf Blades. A little bit of luck which is a bummer and now we're gonna throw the leaf blade. I guess they charged up a little bit extra here, so I totally missed count of uh, and timing of those uh, Drango breaths. So now they're gonna reach their move. Hopefully, it's gonna be just an Octazuka, and now we can definitely take this one because it is gonna be just another Octazuka which is gonna connect for not super effective damage. Uh, so we're just gonna get now to the next move, which is the Outrage up against whatever comes in. It ends up being the Toxapex, and at this point, I believe that my C3 can definitely go in, start chunking some uh, a nice amount of uh, HP out of that Toxapex and with that in mind, with two shields, I believe that Sarpedo is definitely go to town, able to farm down completely here with my Bites, at the back they return with the Trevenant which was their lead Pokemon and we're gonna unleash the power of the debuff and the farm down of the Bites let's get that sweet victory uh, winner winner, chicken dinner or shark dinner, so we're having a very nice uh, battle over here another Trevenant up on the lead and they end up catching the foul play on their uh, Ampharos it doesn't matter at all we can still go ahead and safe switch in their our uh, Kingdra uh, because even though they can reach to that double uh, Thunder Punch it doesn't matter we have still put that Ampharos to a point that it's gonna be completely destroyable with my Sifty. we can still take advantage of uh, my Snarls being registered much faster than the Volt switches and down they go. How are they gonna respond now though? Because uh, they definitely must have a counter to my shift, right? And guess what? They don't. So that's why they threw the Ampharos, able to completely farm down here with my uh, Sarpedo. And of course at the back there is gonna be a Swampert. At this point I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Crunch after I steal the first one and I believe that this is gonna be more than lethal for the Sado Swampert and of course uh, Trevenant without even being able to sow itself after it's thrown out of its Pokeball we're just gonna delete it out of existence into the next one with the Toxapex on the switch with the Kingdra and we have kind of the upper hand here but they end up blocking and you know what it doesn't matter at all we still have the upper hand with our Sifty going in pretty clutch up against them gonna let that move go through and 
ends up being and now trades for big damage so we have to rely on the Sarpedo right now for anything here and they have an executor at the back so we're gonna close this video with a loss which is a bummer but still I think that it was kind of hilarious and I think that you're gonna uh, enjoy this team if you try to play it uh, on go battle it uh, towards the end of the rotation because yeah fast battles is all you need sometimes in order to succeed in go battle league Thank you for watching trainers, just be sure to leave a huge like before you go, subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and if you want to support even more, well joining as a member can always help with that matter. Thank you once again and I hope to see you all into the next one, take care trainers!